Welcome back to Newbie for Hire and another official Peavers P Arc motorboat build guide. This particular boat is another Peavers P war boat. It is a light bird carrier. It can handle two Pteranodons. The purpose of this boat when designing it was so that I could land Pteranodons easily without opening a hatch frame or gate onto the raft, but have them relatively secure and not obstructing the turret line of sight. So let's get started. Grab a pillar, grab the rudder, place the pillar. I like to move it back, but you can place it right where it is if you want. It doesn't really matter. Place another pillar back from that one. You can, of course, use uh, wooden pillars uh, to save resources. Another pillar there. Foundation. All right, now depending on what you want to do, this could be the level of our boat, or we could go one lower. If you want to hide your cabling under the foundation, this is where you're going to stop, and you're going to fill out the boat like that. But I don't really care. I'm going to use uh, air conditioning to hide the cabling, which is not quite as good, but we're going to bring this a little lower. Just like that. Demolish this. Demolish this. And then we're going to start filling up the boat. Leave the middle and the side one. One more pillar there. And then under the rudder, we're going to lower down one more time, demolish this pillar, and place our final foundations. All right. Now at the front of the boat, we're going to do, now we're going to use thatch ceilings again so we can put foundations since they fixed that again, letting us put foundations under the ceilings. We're going to move one off the front. And we're going to do start with the higher point off the back so that you get the, the higher snap point in that one. We're going to go like that and then like that. So that's what it should look like so far. And we're going to put foundations under all of these. Make sure this one's at the higher snap point, which it is. I got lucky. Just like that. And then go ahead and demolish all of these set ceilings. All right, so this is what our boat looks like. We got one off the front five straight off the back and three off the back of that. So that's kind of what it looks like. This is the base of our boat. It's going to form the foundation. We're going to go ahead and put a ramp down there so we can get on easily. Now let's start building out this boat. All right, so underneath the boat, we are going to go back just behind the rudder with the pillar, another pillar, another pillar. I think we need one more pillar. And that'll get us this the this ceiling. Now, if you wanted to, we could leave, we could put this a metal ceiling and put our turrets on that. And I, in that case, I would have put it back one further. What we're going to do is we're going to save a little bit of pieces, and we're going to make a floating foundation for this. Just like that. And now. We can demolish. Actually, we're not ready yet. Let's go along this way to one more like that. We'll go along here and then pillar there. That should let us do that. And then we can start demolishing all this stuff. except for the foundations, of course.
we'll get that other pillar from the top. So we have two floating foundations now underneath. We're going to put turrets on those later. Now we've got our base down. We are next going to place two giant metal hatch frames. We have to do this now or we won't be able to do it later. This is the front of the boat, left corner, front of the boat, right corner, just like that. So that's that's what it's going to look like. Now we're going to build out the boat. Start at the front, slope metal wall right, slope metal wall left, over here as well, metal wall left, metal wall right, just like that. We're going to go slope ceiling, or not yet. We're going to go wall. There. Wall there. Now we're going to go slope ceiling off the front. Slope ceiling off this side. And off this side. Just like that. Now we're going to place a smithy. Smithy, we're going to use the K command. Bring it out a little bit. And bring it right in so that we can fit a wall just like that should be perfect all right the walls all the way around here doorway here wall 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 doorway at the entrance to our boat. Wall wall. Wall doorway. Wall wall wall. These doors we're not gonna put doors in. Now we're gonna go facing the back, the entrance. We're gonna go another wall here. Wall here doorway here. This one we will put a doorway in, as well as that one. Then wall again here. Make sure it's on the inside. Wall here. And doorway there. Next we're going to put a wall here on the inside. Make sure it's the inside of this foundation. We're going to destroy this one so you could do it in thatch. We're going to do our slope wall here and again on the opposite side. Make sure it's over the wall, directly over the wall. And slope ceiling there. Then we're going to do slope wall on top of that. This is going to stay, so make sure that's metal. Over here again, we're going to do a disposable wall. We're going to destroy it later. Make sure it's on the inside. Sometimes they can be tricky. And sloped on top. Alright, on the back uh, facing, you can see the rudder here. We're facing the very back. We're going to do a wall there. A wall there. A wall over the door and a wall over the door. Now we're going to do sloped walls going back and then inside the doorways sloped walls here and here and one more there and then a sloped ceiling over this side facing the back so that it's open here on the door side and then a regular ceiling capping the top so it's open right here we're going to do the same thing on the other side sloped walls there there and there sloped ceiling there regular ceiling capping it right there so it's open right here 
these are our landing bays. The Toronto is going to come in. We're going to park them right here. So they're going to be mostly hidden, mostly protected, but very easy for us to land and get off and get into the boat. And that's the whole idea. Then we're going to do a regular ceiling here at the back, facing the very back. Now we're going to do a wall. This is a disposable wall in front of one of these one of these doors, whichever one we can get, that we got that one. And a disposable slope wall. Not that one. That one. Now we're gonna put a slope ceiling there. And slope ceilings here, here, and then on the other side, slope ceiling here. And here and then go ahead and put another couple fake walls polish these going up and then ceiling and ceiling and I was demolish everything we used to build this up this wall here we used with that slope ceiling we demolish that we demolish these two walls We demolish the two lower walls next to the smithy and on the opposite side. We leave these sloped walls that we've placed. And that is the full. We have to duck to get out of there. That is the full metal portion of the base. Sorry, the metal portion of the boat. This is what it looks like. You can see the two landing bays. And now we're just going to kit it out. So, to kit it out, we're going to go, we're going to start with our electrical cable, and we're going to put it right, should be good right about there, junction box there, that should get everything for us, generator here, alright, let's get out the inside of our boat, so let's start with a fabricator, we'll line it up using these metal pieces on the ground. We'll make sure it's not sticking through the boat. We don't want that. Perfect. Into the fridge right next to the fabricator. We'll put a chemistry bench in there. I think we can squeeze one on this back wall. Just like that. Stick a forge in there. Get a bunk bed in here. I think right here should be good. Alright, let's get some turrets going. Let's stick one in this uh, back corner here. And then we need to put one. Alright, let's do an air conditioner. We're going to put these over our cabling. So that's the, that's how we're going to hide it. That means they're going to have to destroy the the air conditioning if they want to get to the cable. Now earlier, remember when we put the foundations, you could have sunk it into the foundation if we had them a little bit higher, but I like them this, this height, so it is what it is. Let's put a uh, turret over the box. Just like that, so they can't get to the box. That does work, by the way. You can't pike it through the turret. Just like you can't pike it through these air conditionings. As you can see, I'll demonstrate here. We're trying to get to this box. We can't. Turret's in the way. We're trying to get to this cable. We can't. Obviously, the air conditioning is a lot weaker than the turret, but I think the turrets will kill them before they can take that air conditioning down. If they somehow manage to get inside the boat. Of course, they could try and just take the gas out, but that's another story. All right, back to building here. Let's uh, all right. Let's put another turret at the doorway, facing the other direction, and then in our bird rooms, we're going to put turrets as well. 
Okay, so like that. That way if anyone comes crashing in here to try and blow things up, they'll get shot. We'll do the same thing on the other side. Probably do another turret in here if we want. Make sure we can still get everything. And that should about do us for inside the boat. On the outside of the boat, we have these two platforms, the floating platforms we made. We're going to want to turret those up, probably put one on each corner. Get the best rest spread here. And we'll do the same thing on this one. Alright, so underneath the boat should look like that. Two floating foundations, eight turrets. We should have the pieces for all that. Next, let's get some Plan X on this thing. So Plan X, let's do one off the front, like that. Another off this side, on the front. One on that corner off the front. Then we will do one off this back slope wall. Up ceiling, and one off this flat part. Same thing on the other side. And like that. And we'll go one here on the top, and another on the top. We don't want to place the uh, the actual plants in these yet until all our turrets are placed. Now for turret placement, we're gonna go. This is the, the 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 entrance here, the entrance on the back corner on the top. We're gonna do one, one on the opposite side. We're gonna do one right over the doorway and then one over each of the Tronodon bays just like that and over the top of the boat we'll do one more facing the entrance doorway on the top here and then Another one here. Obviously, you can put them wherever you want. I just, this is how where I like them. And then one on the top facing the front. And then lastly, we will do on these hatch frames three each. reach. Looks like, let me do the other side, it looks like our cable box is just a hair off. We can either move this turret or read the box. 
probably should have placed these turrets first when we were doing the box. All right, as you can see, we repositioned it to just behind this, just on top of this platform, and we were able to get all the all the guns. I positioned it forward and gotten them all before, so I don't know what the problem is this time, but that's just the game. Now we've got, this is the completed build, but we've got four more spots and we definitely want to use them all, so let's go, let's modify this again a little bit. Pick them up and put them at the corner here. And then another one on the other corner. Do the same thing over here. That gives us two spots left, and we'll just do a couple more Plan X. One off the front like that. And one off the opposite, the, the opposite side there. Tricky one to get, but we got it. Put that guy back. And that should be all the spots. And the reason we want all the spots is because of this. We get the C4. There are already too many structures on this platform. We cannot place C4 anywhere on it. If we remove one of the turrets, we can. And this works, from my experience, as well on an enemy boat. I've attacked an enemy boat. I've been attacked an enemy boat that had maximum structures and it would not let me place C4. That's how I discovered this. I was quite frustrated at the time. But now we know always max the structure limits. And like uh, like always, we place the Plan X last because they count as a spot once they're grown, but not beforehand. And that is our finished boat. Here's our boat demonstrated in action. We just fly on in, right in there. Land them, flip them around, get off, and we're in. Drive it around, and our uh, Tyrannodon is, he's not totally safe. You could snipe him from the right angle, but he's pretty safe. Casual observer is not even going to see him in there. All they're going to see is a peppering of turrets. Obviously, Normally when you land a Toronto on top of the raft, someone will see it, they'll be able to snipe it, but you can't really see the guy. He's in there, he's hidden. I'm pretty well protected. You can see he's there. Be sniped from a couple angles. But he's pretty safe, relatively safe. He's as safe as we want him. Without having to go through the hassle of opening hatch frames or doors or whatever else. Plus we have a pretty sleek looking boat and that's always important. As you can see there he is. Nobody's seeing that guy from a distance. Alright, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for more uh, motorboat guides. If you have any guides you want me to build or boat ideas you want me to do, put them in the comments. I'll be happy to give them a shot. If you want to see more motorboat guides, hit the subscribe. You'll see them as soon as I put them. Thanks for watching.